Thanks, Raj. Dave? Yeah, so the, the last area is really thinking about the future of our work uh, from an American and Alaska Native perspective. Uh, who's in the pipeline to take on the work at the College Fund? Who's in the pipeline to do research and evaluation from an Indigenous perspective? Uh, who understands the TCU and American and Alaska Native community context? And so with those thoughts in mind, uh, the idea, next slide please, the idea with the work that we do here uh, with younger people is to really try to establish who's interested in doing this kind of work and providing them the opportunity to engage uh, real life work we do at the College Fund in research evaluation, data analysis, and so forth. Uh, so this started in 2014, as I mentioned earlier, through uh, funding from Lilly. Uh, it allowed us to work um, four consecutive summers with TCU interns. I have them all listed here, and you'll notice one that is kind of standing out. You may know Cassandra Harden, who works on our programs currently. Uh, she went from a research intern, summer research intern, to actually a college fund employee <coughs> in early childhood education under the uh, tutelage of Terry Jean Yazi Mintz. Um, and so we had a great, great experiences every summer. The, the number of participants grew. Uh, from two, as you see in the first two years, to four in the very final year. Unfortunately, funding ran out on that uh, program, but we did manage to establish some great relationships. And I think we did manage to plant some seeds into the minds of these young people in regards to the importance of research and, and data and, and analysis. Uh, and then also what it means to work for a nonprofit. I think for me, that's one of the larger goals in this is that our these young these young people understand uh, how nonprofit works and indigenous nonprofit works and native focus on uh, nonprofit works uh, so they can step in these kinds of positions in the future. Next slide, please. Supported uh, the next generation of, of researchers and evaluators is through the American Evaluation Association JEDI program, Graduate Education and Diversity uh, Internship Program. We hosted two uh, different interns, Stephanie Rentria Perez in 20. Uh, 19 and 20, or excuse me, 2018 and 19, and then Dr. Tajamal Yassin in 2020-21. We, we provided a, a specific project for each of these individuals to uh, to work on and, and to develop. So Stephanie, Stephanie uh, developed the WINGS evaluation um, program uh, and report, and then also uh, Taj, um, Tajamal um, Work through the uh, our first ever chord analysis, a retrospective chord analysis look, uh, our 2013 and 2014 uh, College Fund scholars. We learned a lot from each of those those efforts. Uh, the Wings evaluation provided us an opportunity to look at, uh, you know, funding students more, uh, you know, in terms of amount as well as consecutive years, as well as uh, development of our coaching program. So we had some some sustainability come out of the work here, uh, from the uh, hosting of these two interns. Next slide, please. This uh, post backward fellowship program. Um, my intention with this with this uh, fellowship program was to bring a, a young scholar, native scholar in uh, to work within the organization to develop the research and evaluation skill set uh, and to prepare them for graduate school. The idea is that we would bring them in after they graduated from their undergraduate degree worked in an organization for two years, learn about what we do, how we do it, our approaches and so forth, and then take that experience to help them, uh, one, apply and to attend graduate school and then to complete graduate school. I'm gonna ask Taylor to reflect on her experience so far. She's been with us since October of, of 2022. Yeah, thank you, Dave. So as Dave said, I joined the research and evaluation team in October of 2022. Uh, so my position consists of collaborating with my team and other departments across the organization, as well as supporting the coordination of research and evaluation efforts, as well as um, evaluation approaches in the TCU context. So I just wanted to share a little bit about before coming to the College Fund, I had very minimal experience and knowledge of what TCUs were um, the variety of support systems the College Fund had to offer um, for scholars and educators and the data surrounding the success of TCUs and their students. Um, thankfully, this position closed those gaps and opened my mind to new ways of critically thinking about research and evaluation and how these practices can be applied in higher education, but most importantly, um, what it means to embody the College Fund's mission and missions and goals um, in serving Native communities, uh, students, and teachers. 
So to sum up what my experience has been so far can be that be, can be best defined um, by themes of learning. So through the countless literature reviews, research articles, and meetings, uh, my team helped my onboarding process by involving me with their work and projects, as well as introducing me to new resources to learn about data visualization and analysis, qualitative and quantitative data, and even through the TCU site visits, which are the pictures that you see on the left um, from a recent trip that myself and other colleagues took to North Dakota. I had a great time. <laughs> I am very thankful for the hands-on first-time experiences so far. And next would be knowledge and experience that can go together in terms of all the wonderful teachings my colleagues have provided me. And although my educational experience is different from what I'm doing now, uh, my experiences as a student leader and intern work in Native spaces have allowed me to share uh, my experiences here from a student perspective. And a lot of what I do comes in the form of support. I have assisted team members in a number of ways when it comes to their own projects, uh, to name a few. Um, I worked with Deborah Wheeler and Crystal Hedgepeth in the Montana TCU Pathways Project in creating flowcharts for Montana for the Montana TCU's transfer student process. I recently worked with Heidi in the faculty development space by obtaining faculty lists from all 35 TCUs for the spring 2023 TCU faculty survey and continuing the efforts of outreach for the TCU research journal. Um, I support um, Heidi in the space for her planning process for both the Mellon Fellowship and the writing retreat coming up this month. Um, in other spaces, such as the coaching evaluation project and the National Native Scholarship Providers, have allowed me to listen in and learn and to contribute, whether that's by note taking or making sure that these spaces are organized. And lastly, it would have to be collaboration. I've had the pleasure of collaborating with other departments, such as the programs team, where I was given the opportunity to learn about the various cultural and educational programs created for scholars and educators. Um, the ongoing collab with the SSS team and the coaching evaluation space gives me a chance to learn more about how students and um, how our student success coaches create best practices to support um, the hundreds and what feels like thousands of students at our TCUs. So in closing, um, this position has given me valuable work experience and a chance to learn new things from experienced individuals and in looking at the bigger picture of what's next. I am determined to continue the higher education journey in graduate school to further my own knowledge in serving students and communities in the native nonprofit space, and most importantly, um, to give back to those in my community. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. We are very, very glad to be part of your journey. Thank you. So uh, in, in sum, uh, thank you all for allowing us the opportunity to present to you all our work. Um, I do want to close by saying we are not the only individuals in the organization that do research, that does evaluation, uh, that has to play and understand data, uh, to clean data and are concerned with data. Uh, we are also not the only ones uh, that utilize this work to tell the story. So we're very cognizant. I know there's there's growing research in the SSS department, and we have strong evaluators uh, in the programming space as well. So I just want to say that the hope is that what we provide in the conversations that we have with you all can help advance all of our work together across the organization. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Alex. Alex was with our department for a number of years before moving on to the programs team. I don't want to forget him. Uh, we appreciated his support over those years as well. So thank you.